Hey everyone, today we're going to remix Kill Bill by SZA. So, the first thing I did on this remix was separate out the music and the vocals with a tool called Vocal Remover online. It's free to use, it's really awesome. And it's really helpful for making remixes. Pitched it down two and sped it up a little bit. Original one is like 89, I think. And this is a lot quieter, but then I put the vocals, so I muted the music, put the vocals through a vocoder with some similar chords. And yeah, I blended in the actual vocal in with it. Just to kind of, so you can kind of hear the main vocal as well, just a little bit better. And for the intro, I added a long bass, like a Reese bass, and a pad, and this cool lead synth. Just playing random notes, kind of sounded like cool, I thought. I'm so mature, I'm so mature, I'm so mature. And then, the second half of the intro, I added this percussion loop and this sweep. I'm so mature, I'm so mature, I got me a therapist to tell me there's nothing that I do. More than that, I just want you. If I can have you, no one should have mine. In this next section, uh, I have the same vocal vocoder going. I added a lead synth, a more bouncier, shorter bass, and these keys. I just played all that in to give it more of a like, groovy, swung feel. And everything pretty much a side change to the kick, which also gives it more groove. And uh, I played everything in, but I had it kind of quantized loosely to a groove template that was swung, so it made it sound like this. And that was Shaker. And what makes a huge difference is this percussion that I found on Splice. Pitched it up a little bit, matched it to the BPM. So yeah, here's the finished product. There you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. I will probably go and finish this up finish the whole remix and put it on SoundCloud and YouTube, but see you next time.